Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Minecraft video. As we can see the sun is setting and the moon is rising. And along with the moon we can also see that Minecraft 1.3 is currently installed on my computer, at least the pre-release. And so I kind of wanted to do this video to show off uh, some of the things that I've been doing in 1.3. And one of the things that I wanted to do was a new, uh, a new enchanting system. And this here is the wiring, which as you can see is absolutely mammoth. So I kind of wanted to go through this real quickly. First off, let me address uh, something I had been meaning to recently. Um, I think it's Twixmaster who had asked a question regarding my uh, my redstone display or counting system and he had had a, a problem with the uh, zero block popping up I don't know if you were using pre-release uh, any of the pre-releases or beta builds or anything like that but I ran into that same issue in 1.3 and I just wanted to let you know the, that the fix is just put a repeater here on the uh, power going to the zero block and put it on one tick. Uh, I ran into that problem today and it took me a little while to figure it out, but eventually it's like, oh, okay, well that resolves it. Well, anyways, so as you can probably tell by that, uh, this system is based on the counting system that I used for my uh, numerical display. It has uh, 15 blocks as opposed to the, or as opposed to the normal uh, 10 and uh, the 15 blocks are for the uh, 15 bookshelves that you use in the new enchanting system and as you can see right now I've got one raised and you can what's kind of neat about this system is you can go through and raise the correct number of bookcases with a new uh, Minecraft enchanting system you can really precisely control your enchantments assuming you take the time to build a system like this so you can for example when we pop this in we'll get a six now one of the things that in testing this system that I found interesting anything below three bookcases you actually get more than if you have more than three bookcases like usually if you have more than three it falls into the order of like if you have four you get a level eight if you have three you get a level six but like with one or two bookcases you seem to get higher levels like I've seen nines elevens I think I might have even seen a twelve so that's kinda interesting so I guess if you're trying to do some enchant enchanting on the cheap in 1.3 maybe for UHC or something like that uh, you can actually get a much better enchantment just by using one bookcase uh, sometimes rather than going for more. So anyways, uh, with this system, as you can probably tell, it has all 15 bookcases uh, around this uh, little uh, enchanting table here and it deploys each one individually. So I have, that's why I have all of these wires, there's a total of 15 running to each piston controlling the bookcase. So you can see it's going to continue to drop and the nice thing about this system I guess and I think the reason that uh, Mahjong or Mahjong or however you pronounce it uh, went to this system is it gives you much more consistency so like we're level 16 now we'll just drop another bookcase there we go and level 18 and it works pretty much like that you know throughout the range and another thing about this system that I kind of liked, if you did want to get fancy with it, obviously there's a ton of wiring, so you'd have to be very uh, careful hiding the wiring behind the walls. I will say that I did rush to get this uh, video out. I've been working on this uh, system pretty much all day, and it took forever to get it to work. So this last try, or a last attempt at getting it working, I said screw the aesthetics, just let's get something that's functional. So hence all the wiring is spread out and I'll, I may work with this system more in the future, I haven't decided. I guess it kind of depends on the response that I get from you guys. 
and if you want me to you know try to improve this further you'll uh, you can let me know in the comments or uh, anything like that but uh, yeah it's it could be compacted a good bit more but obviously it is always going to be rather cumbersome just due to the number of wires that we have to have but like I said it's very consistent so that's kind of nice if you're going for like a level 26 you know that you're going to get it right there so that's kind of a nice thing now I will say another thing about this system uh, you can see here I have two bookcases raised at level 30 only one of these is active I just did this for purely aesthetic reasons uh, but it does work you just aren't going to get any benefit from having more than 15 now um, I kind of like this little pattern that I came up with it seems to work pretty nicely uh, you know obviously it's kind of clunky outside but overall I think it looks pretty neat um, and obviously it is very very functional uh, one other thing that I kind of wanted to mention while I was here, and I don't know if anyone else has noticed this. I haven't seen it in the forums, but to be honest, I don't read the forums that much, so maybe someone has addressed it. But when I was building this, I noticed something about pistons that I think has changed. I don't remember this being the case in the past, but I could be wrong. But anyways, in the past when you were using a repeater to power a piston, you had to run the uh, repeater directly into the block, uh, into a block that was connected to the piston. But now, you don't have to. It, it's kind of weird. It actually threw me off uh, when I was doing the wiring up top here. You can see that I have kind of a whole bunch of uh, pistons clustered together. And when I would put blocks here, it seemed to cause issues uh, with the uh, pistons retracting properly. I guess it's because uh, there's a delay there. but I, I don't know it just it was kind of weird but anyways um, as far as the wiring for this system it is pretty simple despite its size as you can see we just have uh, everywhere uh, there's a total of 15 rows here and 15 blocks in the system I really need 16 because I need a zero block but uh, I, I kind of screwed up when I was building it and uh, miscalculated how many I needed but anyways uh, the you can see I just put you just put torches wherever you want the pistons to uh, deploy so on the zero block we have this one deploy on the one block we have this and so forth and so on down the line so despite it being looking I guess fairly daunting just due to the amount of wiring involved it's actually not that bad I know I saw where B00 had commented on uh, the new enchanting system and he was complaining about it and I, I, I certainly understand his complaints with it uh, because it doing it this way is a m much more cumbersome than the old way because you're not going to get much more uh, range with it more than like one or two uh, bookshelves you're going to get a very limited range of enchantments so you do have to have some sort of system like this you either have to block it off with torches or something and I don't even know if the tor uh, based on B00's uh, video I haven't tested it out but based on B00's video it seemed like the torches weren't working anymore and I, I don't know if that's the, you know the case like again I haven't uh, tested it out for myself but he seemed to be having some problems so uh, you may have to do something you know maybe not quite this complex but something so that you can um, can accurately uh, control the level of your enchantments um, another nice thing I would say about this system is like I said before it was uh, based on um, a this was originally I originally put together this type of system for using with uh, redstone displays for uh, a counting mechanism in fact that's what this is is a counting mechanism and um, one of the things that you could do if you wanted to run some extra redstone is you could actually have it display the current like if you really wanted to get fancy you could either have it numerically display the current level of the enchantment that would be offered because it does seem to be pretty consistent um, or you could also use like a very simple uh, redstone display system just to kind of show the power of enchant the enchantment like 15 bars across or something like that 
I planned on uh, building an, an enchanting system into my uh, castle, and so that's kind of why, what motivated me to start this project, because uh, I kind of wanted to come up with something uh, unique and new, because I couldn't find anyone else that had done a uh, new enchanting system with the uh, new uh, release or uh, the uh, new Minecraft patch. And so I wanted to come up with something kind of different, and uh, so this was what I came up with. But uh, I do kind of like the idea of being able to see the uh, the uh, level of the enchantment, or potentially, um, you know, uh, having just some sort of like power graph where it just got more powerful as you went with the or the bars went higher as you got went up to a higher enchantment. And so I thought that would be kind of cool. Uh, one thing I do also want to mention: you can use this with a clock. Uh, so you don't have to like press the button multiple times. You could do the same thing with like a, a pressure plate so that you could basically uh, ch just stand on it while it uh, went to the correct level um, for you. It, it works pretty accurately that way and in fact that would be probably another incentive to uh, have like some sort of numerical display saying the, uh, showing the current level of enchantment uh, according to the uh, I guess the uh, device's current configuration because uh, then you could like stand back and just wait a couple of seconds. I had also thought about making it so that this uh, counts in reverse but I re I'd ha really have to redo some of the design for that to happen because I have to put pa would have to put power into uh, here I do believe and as you can see that's kind of blocked off right now so um, it may be something I consider in the future but as of right now, I th think it's just too complicated to be worthwhile. Well, anyways, once again, this is Andrew and Price, also known as Altered Zigo. Uh, thanking you for watching this video. Let me know if you find it interesting. Like I said, I may continue to work with this. Uh, and, you know, hey, if anyone wants a copy of my world file, I'd be happy to share it. Uh, I guess I just didn't think anyone would be too interested in playing around with this just due to the size and the bulk. But, you know, hey, I could be wrong. So, you know, if you have an interest, please let me know. So, you know, I guess thanks for, once again for watching the video, and uh, good night and good gaming. Bye.